I am Anthony Christo, and I was an art director at Pixar for 18 years. Before that, I was in Hollywood in general, working on all kinds of different films for many, many years. I'm an artist. I'm also a manager and uh, organizer, I guess, because when you work in uh, film, in animation, um, especially when you work as an art director, you kind of have to uh, have that, the ability to organize and manage the, a lot of creative types, um, which is very often is like a uh, herd of cats, and it's kind of, it's an art in itself. <laughs> It's very important to, um, for managers to be aware, to be, to, to be familiar with the subject that are, the, of the, the production that they're managing. Um, in fact, um, uh, in one of our programs, which is the game program, what we want to do is we want to, uh, if you want to be a producer, that would be a great program for you as well, because you get to be familiar with what everybody does. And with the challenges, with the challenges that they have to deal with, uh, you cannot be a manager without being really familiar with the essence of what is it that you're managing. I think that the game industry is a big mystery for a lot of people, but it's gaining momentum here. People are there's companies that are hiring. There, some of them are planning to double their the number of their employees within the next year. Um, it's a very exciting, very interesting industry. There's a lot of roles there and uh, very few people are aware of them. What is level design? Level design is uh, essentially creating the different, uh, the, the worlds that, that, that you, uh, the, or world building, uh, that you, the, game, that the game sucks you into. You know, the, the idea for you to, when you play a game is to emerge yourself and to immerse and to be, to be part of this world. And so uh, creating this world, it's, uh, it's a technical term, but it's very creative as well. So it's a great place. Just one example where technology and uh, creativity uh, blends and becomes one. <music> to me, technology is a tool. It's but a tool uh, of expressing yourself. The same way, like for example, in our fundamental program, fundamentals program, we have perspective and figure drawing and uh, human and animal anatomy. Uh, that's really, it's, the reason why that's important is because any artist that you, if you have something to say, you want to express it, the way you do it is by drawing. And if you don't know perspective in, in human figure, for example, it's really difficult for you to express your thoughts. Technology is the same thing. If you don't know Photoshop, if you don't know Maya, if you don't know 3D Max, if you don't know um, all the softwares that the companies use, your ideas are um, kind of like the, a tree that falls into the forest and nobody hears it. You know, your creativity, it, it, may, be, it may live inside of you, but you have no uh, tongue, you have no language to express it. My best friends were the technical people. You know, they're so much more interesting. I mean, they're nerdy, for sure, but they're interesting people because, uh, and they're a little bit more innocent, I think, that we artists, the creative types, very, we, it's very rare that you meet one who is very um, verbal, like I am, I talk, I blubber. Uh, but there are some, most of us are not. We're kind of quiet, shy, we go into the corner, we just do our thing. Technical people are very different. They will talk, they will talk, they will talk, they will talk. We're not IT school. Like in IT industry, just like in banking for the most part, they, it can be creative. I mean, creative banking, that can be very dangerous. But uh, in general, in banking, the number either comes up to 227 or it doesn't. And if it's not 227, you've made a mistake somewhere along the way. You can go back and figure out where the mistake was. In art creative world, it's not like that because there's like 10 different correct answers to the question. And so not everybody will be a good fit for every company, every project. It's just a matter of finding your own fit, your own mission, your own creativity, your own personality. 
And so, um, but a large percentage of them will find work in, in, in the country. The big companies are, as I said, they're looking to double their employees within a year or two. So <clears throat> it can only get better. The more people, the more qualified people we have, the more uh, content those companies will get from their global offices and the more uh, people would want to come here. You know, we have such limited human resources that if we rely on outsourcing forever, uh, we're going to be kind of elbowed out by so many more populous nations. And so we're hoping that we're going to keep young people here as well and give them the opportunity to grow with the industry. There is no difference between so-called commercial art and art. It's art. Art has always been art has always been a commercial proposition. I mean, Michel Leonardo, Michelangelo, these were people who ran studios. These were the John Lasseters of the 16th century, right? They, uh, they were commercial propositions. And so um, it's important for them to, 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 to know that they can be the artists and they can be the creative people and they can work for companies, they can create their own companies. Uh, and uh, there is no contradiction, there's no daylight between creativity and, and business and, um, uh, and the corporate life in general.